tattoo. Yay! Yay!
two, one. My favorite memory, <laughs> there is the time where we were in California and we were seeing my mom and there was that like really crazy, pretty cool lightning and thunderstorm that lasted like 30 minutes of just like the loudest thunder and the coolest lightning. Um, and I thought that was really cool and I really liked experiencing that with you. You also thought um, like this little fire pit was a sundial and it was just so not a sundial and it was very clearly like a little fire pit propane pit thing um and it was funny and it makes me laugh at least once a month when I think about it I go hmm, just like that um guess it happy birthday darling I am so excited for this new adventure this new era of your life this new chapter I feel like you have already grown and transformed so much in this last decade of your life and so I can't even imagine what new growth and like new, you know new transformation is on the horizon it's just it's just all so so good yeah this is this is so exciting I'm so happy for our friendship I actually was just doing some yoga this morning and I was thinking about us in Barkala and doing our asanas and suffering through philosophy class together <laughs> and going on Sunday and getting banana chips and I feel like that was just such a special month and such a special time and yeah wow like I'm I'm so happy that we got to share that together and now I feel like 
I feel like a little soul connection to you every time I do yoga now. Um, and then obviously we had so many other memories and so many other adventures as well. Like I, I feel like I can't even begin to count <laughs> the amount of great times and everything. But that's just one that really like stood out to me today. I'm so happy that you are in my life and you are in life with all of our mutual friends and um, we all get to share together and grow together and I'm just really excited to, you know, celebrate you this week and do some exploring and continue on the adventure and um, yeah, I'm just so proud of you and so inspired by you and I have nothing but good hopes for the horizon and I hope that I hope that you do too. Love you so much and happy happy birthday and I mean I guess you're probably seeing us now so uh well right now as of today we'll see you soon okay bye Cassidy this comes as no surprise but ever since RHA I have always looked up to you you are truly one of the most hard-working creative ambitious adventurous people that I have ever known and you truly inspire me all the time um I hope that you take into your 30s with you your fearlessness and your openness to the world um and lastly age is but a number and you are young and hot and fun don't forget that Happy birthday, Cassidy. Hope you have a fun 30th, and especially with all of us here in Florida, which I don't fully understand like why Florida, I, I kind of didn't really get, I, I don't I don't give a shit. I have, I have to go do stuff. I'll, I'll see you in a couple hours from this. But there also the time you tried to kill me in a grocery cart, which I don't even remember. I wasn't even cognizant for. I just keep getting told about it. Um, but I do remember that all the time you burnt me in the forehead with a curling iron. That, that one wasn't super fun. There was also the time you got really, really, really mad at me because I wanted to wear the same nail, nail color polish as you. Um, loved that one. And then, of course, how could I forget the time you made it so very clear that Justin Timberlake was your crush from NSYNC and not mine. Um, you made that very explicit explicitly clear i don't fucking know um but that's okay with me because i kind of like joey fatone more i was a little bit of a fatone girly myself it's like i had a sixth sense that he was going to be appearing in hannah montana a few years later um and i just knew that and was connected with him ever since but he also taught me what veal was that hannah montana episode which was a bummer Happy birthday, Cassidy. Happy I know birthday. this is a really weird time to tell you this, but you were adopted. <laughs> I'm just joking, and I know that makes you sad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you're one of us, and we love you and miss you, and you're too far away. And how are you 30? That makes how are us you 30? really fucking old. Yeah. <sighs> That's impossible, because I'm only 27. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see now you know we're sitting here together why 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 <laughs> because back in 2013 actually starting in 2011 a certain somebody made us made, <laughs> made him text me and that's how and, it uh, started. Yeah. <laughs> so that's you probably one of my favorite memories of you. And she's done it twice now. Well, actually, um, I think the second time wasn't her. I oh. think that was me. Oh, all right. But she was rooting for us. Okay. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho, we love you. We Happy do. birthday. My 30s were fucking awesome. I fucking loved them. So enjoy. What to bring from your 20s? Let's see. Nothing. Everything you learn not to do, and then in your thirties, just fucking rave. I don't yeah. know what that was. It was supposed to be that. That says I love you, but I do love you. Okay, rave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Cassidy. 
didn't see you there. Happy birthday. I wanted to tell you all about you. Yes, you. No. <laughs> um, that was a stupid intro, but I wanted to be silly. Uh, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Um, uh, we're making this video for you. We, not me, I'm not doing it. I'm not editing it. It's a lot of work, uh, but I wanted to be, um, I want to give a video of what I thought about you and uh, one of the best memories I have is obviously when we became really good friends in Paris. Um, still one of the best experiences of my life. Um, you know, this was that time we were in that park with those people. <laughs> Which actually led to the reason why I'm actually living in Capitol Hill. So, you know, when you met those girls and you were like, hey, let's go to a lunch, um, a picnic. Um, they live from Seattle, and I was like, where should we live? And uh, she's like, you should live in Capitol Hill, and here I am. Obviously, uh, you know, my best birthday ever, to be completely honest with you. Um, I think you know how much that meant to me, because, you know, I was crying. We were, on the, we were on the subway crying, or I was on the subway crying with you at 6.30 in the morning saying how nobody's ever taken that much time and effort to actually give me that much attention um, for my birthday. And so, yeah, I just broke down and freaked out because it was so much love. And I, um, that was the only way I could process it. <laughs> but obviously those three months in Paris were pretty fucking amazing. Really changed my life, and I couldn't have asked for a better person to spend that time with. Which leads me to the next question of, you know, what's what's something that you do that inspires me? Your gumption, your attitude to just like take on anything is really inspiring. And, and not, not so much like... Like, I think we all do it, but you have this, like, fuck it, let's just do it kind of attitude, and I, I find that really inspiring. Because uh, there's that energy that I think a lot of people don't have. I think it, it takes a lot of confidence to just travel the world by yourself. And, yeah, I think what, I, what, I, what inspires me most about you is, yeah, you're just tenacity to take on new things. And I think a lot of people don't actually have that. I, yeah, that's what inspires me. Like, whenever I, I go out, I'm like, Cassie would take this, <laughs> Cassie would take this in stride. If not, she would take this world by storm. So that's what inspires me. And then something to prepare for your 30s. That's, that's rough. You know, when I, I my 30, 30s, I'm still in it, but it's not that different from the 20s, except for like, you kind of just stop putting up with shit from other people. I've started saying no a lot more, um, just to be like, hey, I don't, I don't want to be treated that way, or you stop caring so much about what other people think. Uh, it's still there, but it's, a, it's just like, well, you know, fuck off, you know? <laughs> so um, that's, that's something that I think I've been working on. Um, maybe me personally, but like something that I think all of us can work on is just like, hey, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, or just focus on you, you know, really just do what you want. Because that's, we are, are, we have precious time and your time is very important. Um, something to still take from your 20s, I think, never lose that tenacity, you know? Um, I have a lot of I've met a lot of people in their like early 30s and they're like, oh my God, my life is over. And they've never wanted to do dance or they're too afraid to. And I'm like, what's stopping you? I think something that you could carry on is just never stop learning. If you really love something like you do for scuba diving or if you find a new passion, like nothing should stop you from doing that. Um, I don't think anything can stop you from doing what you want, so. Again, one of the best times of my life was with you, Cassidy, and uh, I miss you very much. Wherever you land up, or if you keep traveling the world, like, I'll come visit. Yes, I love you.
I miss you very much, and I'll see you soon. If not, I'm already there staring at you. Yes. Okay. Bye. That made me sad. Um, okay. Something that inspires me about you would be... Fuck, dude. I don't know. You're cool. You got a lot of cool traits. Oh, how you stay... Um, calm and like more hectic situations or more like quote-unquote stressful situations. and if you are stressed then you're a really good job at hiding it you sneaky bitch i also like how like meticulous and like detail oriented you are this is me holding up a green screen of the fucking spreadsheet that you've made for this trip um which i check religiously like it's a social media app now and I really like how oh, duh, how fearless you are. You're fearless as fuck. And I think that's dope and a good quality to have. Happy birthday! I hope you have the best of time at Florida with your best friends. I am super bummed I can't be there. Um, it sounded like such a fun trip. And obviously the planner and you have planned out such an amazing trip from what I've seen. And... I'm just super sad that I can't be there. I am so happy that someone else is turning 30 this year and 93 gang rise up. And honestly, I can't wait to see what you will do in your 30s. I feel like you have been such an inspiration to me and just my journey in life. Just hearing about the things that you've done is, has been so inspiring and I can't wait to really see what more you going to accomplish in your 30th so happy birthday we love you and i hope you have the best of time at florida bye happy birthday cassidy from rainy portland so amazing you're such a strong-willed woman you kick ass and you're confident as fuck and you inspire me all the time just stand in in your power and I know you're gonna kill your 30s. Like, I feel like you don't even need advice for your 30s because you're already like living the dream, um, just following your heart. So just keep following your heart. And also like, I am only 26, so I can't give advice for 30s. Um, anyways, love you, miss you. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Okay, I have to go to work. Happy birthday, Cassidy. I can't wait to see what adventures come your way this year. Your willingness to embrace new opportunities has always been so inspiring, and I'm so excited to see. Happy birthday. Oh, advice for your 30s. Oh, pff, bro, I don't know. I keep doing you. Oh, probably, like, don't lose your fearlessness. That's probably, like, a good thing to say. Don't, use, don't lose your fearlessness. People, I think, lose that from what I've been told. Don't lose that. Keep that. Keep that. Also, keep your fire. Huh? You have fire signs all over your chart. You're never not going to keep your fire. 30s are your new 20s. So, I don't know. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep having fun and do more drugs. So, that's my advice for you. Okay. And lastly would be a quote. Okay. Yeah. No. Absolutely. My favorite quote would be from um, the one, the fucking only Octavia Butler. Thanks to you. Um, and that one would be, obviously it's from Parable of the Sower. That wouldn't be. The child in each of us knows paradise. Uh, home as it is or home as it was. Paradise is one's own place, one's own world one's own people, knowing and known, perhaps even loving and loved. Yet every child is cast from paradise into growth and community, into vast ongoing change. Because like so fucking true. Damn, she just really hasn't ever missed. Hasn't ever missed. Really queen. I think that's it. Uh, I love you. I'm excited to see you and thanks for organizing this shit dude i love that libra moon of yours <laughs> okay bye i love you i'll see you soon Mwah. happy birthday cassidy i love you 
I'm so happy that we're all together and that we got to share this time in Florida. Celebrate your 30th. Can't believe you're 30. It's crazy. I'm next. Um, I just want to say how much I appreciate our friendship and all the things you've taught me over the years. Um, I really love that you see the best in people. You try to bring out their highest potential and you're very bold and you live life to the fullest. And that's a really admirable quality, I believe.